You know what your UIs are missing? Animation. Once upon a time you had to write your own drawable class and implement it manually to add your frames. That's too complicated. I've made it easier than ever to allow you to add your own scrolling backgrounds, gradients, and frame-by-frame -frame animations. You might have seen my previous video on Tenpatch. This is an extension of that, fully realized as an editor in Skin Composer. I have a few samples to demonstrate. A scrolling background is a simple touch that you can add to any game menu to make it feel more alive. Here's how you get started. I made a nice image that tiles well. Let's add that as a drawable to Skin Composer. Click the 10 patch button. We don't actually have to set any patches. Just go straight to More Settings. None of this will matter if we don't turn on tiling. Click OK for right now. As you can see, I already have a nice looking background. Notice that the bottom left corner is always square at 0, 0. Go back in. Offset X and Y control where the drawing of the tiles start at. Let's try 2020. See, it's a little offset now, up and to the right. But that is kind of useless for our needs. We want it to grab our attention. Offset X and Y speed changes this offset over time. Pixels per second. Look at it move! That might be a little too distracting, so let's tone it down. Oh, that is so smooth. Let's name it something unique and click OK. After we export, we can use this drawable as the background for a table or whatever we want. Note that you can still use this technique with stretch areas defined and get very cool effects like this. Remember, you need to add 10 patch to your build.gradle to have this work in your project. See the links in the description. Gradients are another dynamic effect that would usually take a lot of effort to make. Don't bother using a gradient save to PNG. You're going to get some gnarly banding when you try to scale it. I usually just use a 1x1 one one white pixel and add my effects to it. We're going to use more settings in 10 patch again. If we wanted a single plain color, we'd use the color field. For gradients, we can define the colors by four points in the texture. Lower left, upper left, upper right, lower right. I'm going to play with that. Easy, right? Say I want a simple black going to white, top to bottom. This is what I'd do. You can see how that can be useful for some backgrounds. You can apply a gradient to any texture and even add some scrolling to it. Try adding some stretch areas for a more radical experience. Oh god, my eyes! There's something to be said about traditional animation. 
going frame by frame to make your game come to life, and so too can your user interfaces benefit from it. I made an animation, 15 frames, very simple. I named them with the typical nomenclature of underscore and then frame number, but that is just for convenience as you'll soon see. Add all the frames to Skin Composer and click the 10 patch button for the first frame. Select Animation. Click the plus button. Normally you'd have to add frames one by one, but you can just pick the first one and it will auto detect the rest. The preview is too slow, so let's speed it up a bit. 0 0.03 frames per second. Look at that little guy run! You do have some options here for modifying the frames. Make your selection by clicking on a frame. You can hold control to select more than one frame, or you can hold shift and click to select a range. Control A selects all frames. You can move them around, Duplicate. Reverse. And sort. You can press delete on the keyboard or the minus button to remove frames. Click OK when you're done. You can see the preview stretches like normal. Let's add a stretch area here. Most awesome. Add this to whatever you want, buttons, progress bars, it all works. Combine this with scrolling, gradients, and stretch areas as you see fit. I've given you the ingredients, let's see if you can make a souffle. I have come here to chew bubblegum and make you eyes, and I'm all out of bubblegum.